Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about the name of the game, so to speak, and how your thoughts are everything. Your thoughts are everything. So if you're interested in a video like that, please keep watching. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And like I said, in this video, I want to talk about the concept that your thoughts are everything. And it's really the name of the game. When it comes to the game of your life, your thoughts are everything. Now, I wanted to do this video. It's kind of an impromptu video, but yeah, it is an impromptu video. But I actually was watching a couple of a, a couple of YouTube videos um, today, and it was talking about thoughts, and they were very profound. And some of what was said in these videos were, um, you know, thoughts are um, they control you? Thought like if um, what did what did he say? Something about like. What did he say? I don't remember what he said. It's something like if we could just do a spell on our thoughts and all of that kind of stuff, how much easier things would be. But that's the name of the game when it comes to the game of your life. Now, when I talk about, I talk about, um, you know, your life as a game and like when your beliefs are the rules for your game and how important it is. Now, we kind of dissect and unpack all the things that I talk about on this channel you know, your subconscious mind, manifesting your beliefs, everything at its core boils down to your thoughts and how your thoughts create. And your thought energy manipulates energy or matter. So everything <laughs> comes down to your thoughts. And so that is the name of the game. Like, People are like, well, the, you know, my thoughts control me and I can't help but think this way. But that's how you win the game. That's what everything is about. That's, you know, like the controls of the game is how to control your thoughts. That's those are the rules. I mean, not, not the rules, but that's how you play the game is to control your thoughts. Your beliefs are the rules. For your game but how to play the game is control your thoughts master your thoughts become the master of your thoughts don't say things like your thoughts control you you control your thoughts become the master of your thoughts now this is obviously <laughs> easier said than done obviously i mean i have days where i feel like my thoughts are out of control and you know that kind of thing but I know that that is how you play the game. And so for me, if it's a matter of me, like, okay, how do I take control of this? And how, you know, that's the name of the game. And I'm like kind of rambling on this video, but I just, it's very important. And this is kind of like, I want to just drive this point home. And, and this is for me as well. It's very important to realize and understand that your thoughts are everything your thought energy now people I refer to it as thought energy because for me it just makes sense because when you think of your thoughts as energy then it's like okay as it logically it makes sense and you realize the impact and how imperative your thoughts are so that's why I always refer to your thoughts especially on my channel as thought energy because energy is force it's energy so that's why i refer to thoughts as thought energy versus just thoughts so it really for me just makes sense and how impactful my thoughts really are when i refer to my thoughts as thought energy but that is the name of the game when it comes down to everything like subliminals hypnosis all this stuff why are we doing these why are we why are we manifesting why are we doing these things it all boils down to controlling your thoughts that is what we're here to do i mean and and um in controlling your thoughts that's how you create that's how you choose your experience that's how you live an amazing life but that's the name of the game is controlling the thoughts so never say your thoughts control you. 
I can't forget about memories. They have like my past memories and my past is controlling me and has control of me. No, you are the master of your thoughts. All of this, everything at its core comes down to controlling your thoughts and becoming the master of your thoughts in everything. I can't think of not anything that it doesn't boil down to that. When it comes to, you know, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you're trying to overcome, whatever you're trying to do in life, it all comes down to controlling your thoughts. That is the name of the game. You might mask things like, you know, all parallel realities. These are all nice things to talk about and, you know, very esoteric things, you know, and I like to talk about those kind of things and kind of ponder on them and everything. But what it, the, the name of the game, the name of the game is controlling your thoughts. That's it. How you think about others and that to think the best of people. That's the law of assumption, to think the best of people. No matter what's in your 3D reality, what's, whatever you're experiencing, think the best. You know, and even when it comes to relationships. Now, this is a huge one. Huge. You know, if we don't get texts back, if someone says something, we might create a story off of it, which are, it's just thoughts. We're creating a story. How can you say, control your thoughts to work in your favor? Control your thoughts to work in your favor. Don't let your thoughts spiral out of control in a direction that does not serve you. How do you become the master of your thoughts? And it, it serves you and whatever you wish to experience, whether it's relationship, career, business, family, whatever it is, what at money, whatever it is, controlling your thoughts, becoming the master. I don't know how many times I got to say this, but becoming the master of your thoughts. That's it. That's the name of the game. You know, we talk about relationships and we try to dissect everything money business entrepreneurship we dissect everything and we we try to come up with all the answers and you know logical things and all this kind of stuff but the name of the game what it comes down to is controlling your thoughts our emotions and how we create stories off these thoughts that don't serve us how can we become the master of it and control it into serving us? Because we are the master of our own thoughts. Our thoughts do not control us. We control the thoughts. Sometimes we allow our thoughts to control us. We allow our emotions to control us because we created stories off those thoughts that create these emotions that don't serve us? How do we control our assumptions of other people? How do we control our perceptions of the world? How do we control all of those things? How do we become the master of our thoughts in which it serves us? That's the name of the game, that's it. So like, you know, and we do, I like to talk about techniques. I like to talk about different modalities and, you know, shaping, forming, creating beliefs, creating new thoughts, because that's all you're doing with subliminals, hypnosis, and a revision and all that kind of stuff. You're creating new thoughts to replace thoughts that don't serve you. But in the present now, in the present moment, in real time, controlling our thoughts, our memories, everything, that's what it all boils down to. It, be, it boils down to you becoming the master of your thoughts. That is the name of the game. And it takes practice, commitment, and dedication. That's, that's what it is. You have to be committed to, committed to that. Committed to yourself because that's what you're doing. You're committing to yourself. You're becoming dedicated to yourself. You know... <sighs> 
it's easy to say that I can't help to think this way. That's easy. The hard thing is to say, I am in control of my thoughts. I am the master of my thoughts and I can change them. I can shift them and I can transform them. That is a hard thing to do. And, you know, being 100% with you, 100, 100. When we say that we can't control our thoughts, that's us playing the victim. It is. Because anytime that I feel my thoughts are spiraling out of control, I can allow that to happen. Or I can be disciplined and say, hold on, hold on there, the thought, thought, <laughs> that sounds funny, but hold on, no, he's thinking about me right now, he's thinking about me right now, hold on, no, thought, this is going to be hella successful, hold on, where are you going? Come back here. I'm I'm in control. I'm the master of my thoughts. This is going to work out in my favor and it's going to be amazing. Watch and see. That's controlling. Take your power back. And so even with memories, you know, that's really tough. And that's why the you know, Neville Goddard talks about revision. Um, I don't necessarily think that you need to revise, but if that's what works for you, if you need to revise a memory, then do that. If that helps you control your thoughts. I have a terrible memory on purpose. Did I say on purpose? Yes. Oh, you remember that time? You remember that time, Amber? No, mm -mm. I don't remember. Sorry. I don't remember. If it doesn't serve me, I don't remember. <laughs> but that's how you have to be. You really have to be that way. That's how powerful your thought energy is. It is controlling everything because your beliefs are thoughts. You know, your imagination, your visualization that you're using to manifest are thoughts. Your memories are thoughts. Did I say that? See, I told you I had a bad memory if I said it. I don't know if I did. But all these things, oh, I said beliefs at first. But your memories are thoughts. They don't exist. They only exist in your head. They're thoughts. Everything are thoughts. Everything are thoughts. Thought energy. And they project out to create your reality, your experience, your outfit. And so controlling and becoming the master of your thought is so important. Becoming the master of your thought energy is so important. It is. And so, you know, I really wanted to share that, you know, we can't just keep going around saying, you know, you know, thoughts are just, ugh, they just control us and I can't can control this and all this stuff. It's practice. It's discipline. It's worth it. It's your life. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. Being like, you know, aware of your thoughts, listening to that narrative that's going on in your head, um, you know, creating new thoughts and really being diligent with your thoughts, your thought energy. It's worth it. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share that. I really think that's really, really important because if you look, if you realize, like, the basis of all my videos, they really come down to your thoughts. And anyone that's talking about creating your reality, manifesting, um, changing your life, transforming your life, anything to do with the external, I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, mindset, it, it all boils down to becoming the master of your thoughts. It really does. And so, yeah, that's all I wanted to share in this video. Um, yeah, so I hope all that made sense because like I didn't really script anything or write any notes for this, but I felt like it's very important because we have to understand how powerful our thought energy truly, truly is and how important it is 
for us to take control and become the master of our own thoughts. That's what it all boils down to. Read any, you know, spiritual texts, anything. It comes back to controlling your thoughts. Done deal. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do videos on the subconscious mind, uh, thoughts, and <laughs> thoughts sort of start. I said it so many times, it sounds funny to me right now. But thought energy, manifesting, feminine energy, all of that jazz. And if you like talking about those kind of things, so do I. So I think you'll like it here. Anyways, that is all for this video. I would check you guys in the next video. Peace.